Welcome everybody to the Game Cave. everybody welcome back to the game cave uh, I'm Jason once again um, uh, I got a few pickups here again today I uh, went on a little excursion uh, to test out for my first time uh, looking for games and things like that um, at like Goodwill and stuff uh, unfortunately I couldn't hit up any rummage sales I wanted to um, but they uh, it was a rainy day and we didn't have much of anybody outside doing anything so I wanted to show you some of the things that I got uh, today um, after going to Goodwill finding like one or two things and then uh, and then going up to like a resale shop of some things that I actually uh, wanted so um, I kind of took it in stride and said well at least I'll find something that's like semi decently cheap you know nothing nothing uh, too cheap but you know something that I'd like to still get um, what I got is, uh, I went on my trip to Goodwill and I got the, uh, six button Sega Genesis controller that was just stashed away, hidden amongst some other ones, uh, uh, other, uh, electronics and stuff. Um, the controller itself was only, if you could see, it was $1.99. Uh, so two bucks for, for this controller. Uh, I've tried looking for it on a on the internet just to buy maybe off of Amazon or something like that and uh, these controllers are actually kind of pricey compared to a two dollar pickup that I just got now um, you can find these like I think they're like anywhere between like 10 15 bucks or something like that so it's a little more online but I went to Goodwill and found it when I got it um, the uh, the cable right here uh, was actually like separated from uh, the area like the the, uh, the rubber outside coating was pulled so it looked like it got broken and pulled it someone pulled it um, I try I basically tried to fix it uh, there was some string like hanging out of it that helps like support this cable to be stronger so I kind of I ended up taking a lighter I took a lighter and I just kind of uh, burn the string down so that it wouldn't affect the, the electrical tape that I put on here and that's all I can kind of do for right now um, as far as fixing the cord and stuff uh, there was nothing inside I've already used the controller it works perfect all the all the wire in the inside was fine it's just that this outside coating was kind of a pain so for two bucks you know having basically what is like the Sega Saturn controller or whatever um, with the six buttons uh, which is a lot better than the three button one. It feels a lot better in your hand compared to the big one, uh, which I have here. So this is the big one that comes with the system. And then here is the re-release with the six button or whatever. So a big difference there, put them close, a big difference there. Size wise, it feels better. Uh, the D pad is a lot better on this one compared to the old one. Uh, and it just feels better in your hand. This thing feels clunky and huge to me, and I'm a big guy. So this was a pretty cool pickup, um, especially for two bucks. This is basically all that I found in like going to Goodwill and stuff like that. Was this one controller? There was another random Genesis controller there that was like a turbo one, but it was like an aftermarket like weird one, um, and it was big and clunky like the other one. So I didn't want that one. So that's about all I can find with that. Then I went and did my trip to our uh, local resale shop, which is called uh, Mega Media Exchange. Um, I picked up these games. So for the regular Nintendo, I picked up uh, Kung Fu. I, I believe I played this uh, a few times as a kid. Thought it was a cool uh, thing to pick up. I'm gonna not only show you the games that I picked up, but how to remove some of this stuff, like especially these stickers, these warranty stickers. The game, the warranty, it, it, it's good. Like if you think that it's not gonna work, but if I test this stuff, it works, it's fine. I want to be able to get inside of here. I want to be able to get inside of here and clean it. And if I can't, if I can't do that uh, and do better than what they do, because I don't think that they have the tools to open this stuff up usually, uh, then that's what I would like to do is, uh, is clean all this stuff if I, ever, if I get a chance. So Kung Fu for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I also liked it because it was like one of those original black label black black labeled games here so really awesome 
uh, just to kind of have that official product and everything. So we'll put that one down. And then I uh, also picked up RC Pro-Am, which is a classic uh, racing game, basically where it's your uh, it's a racing game, but still a uh, like remote control uh, racers and stuff. And it's the label, everything was actually really good shape as far as the label and stuff goes. So I thought it was awesome. The back was really good. Unfortunately, this one, the back is kind of shoddy with the tears and here and stuff. Uh, but this one uh, as well, I, I'm assuming like the connections look pretty decent, but they need to, they need a little cleaning. I can't really see it, but um, once again, I'll, I'll clean that. I kind of do a couple different levels of cleaning. I try to clean without opening it. And if that's not, a, if, if that works perfectly fine, then I'll just leave it. Otherwise I have the, I normally have the tools to open up some of these that have the special uh, tools and stuff to, to take care of that. So we'll also remove this label and then um, it's gonna leave like a uh, metallic film behind saying the warranty's void. And uh, I'm gonna take care of that as well. Uh, also, they had some cases there. Um, so not necessarily came with these games, but these cases, they, you know, they charge like 50 cents for each one of these cases. I thought, whatever, it's fine. I'll just get them, especially with the uh, classic Nintendo one or whatever, and then a generic one. Um, I'll be working on trying to remove this label as well, because I don't know why they couldn't do that. So, and then um, these cartridges are actually pretty clean, but uh, some gunk and everything is in here. So we're gonna kind of do that. We're gonna work on all getting rid of all that stuff. Um, I also picked up for the uh, Genesis. For the Genesis, I got um, Echo, uh, which is kind of the cartridge looked a little weird to me. This is this must be like the earlier releases of like uh, the Genesis games because they are very like plain, you know, black label and stuff like that. Uh, all the Genesis games that I've seen or had that are a little newer, they have like this one, like it says Genesis around it, it's red, it's got the red label. So I think these games, I think were part of the first release of the Genesis, especially like Echo and uh, maybe like Sonic and stuff like that. Uh, I think they came out with the system. I think you could get them as bundles and stuff. So uh, kind of cool, played this one, this one works uh, fine. I'm, I'll probably open it to show you the tools that I have to use to open this one. But uh, other than that, um, I'd say it's actually in pretty good shape. So, so that's what we got there. So we'll do some cleaning and stuff. I'll probably uh, speed the video up so you don't have to um, sit through it all. But uh, I'll clean everything, kind of explain some things, and then speed it up so you don't have to wait for me and everything like that. So uh, what I'll be using is some isopropyl oil. Uh, so basically uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol and stuff. And I like to use, it's all you need is a little bit. I have here in a shot glass. And then uh, I use Q-tips to clean it off. And if there's anything I see uh, that's a little rougher, I might find something else. But usually the alcohol is all that I need. Um, just like a paper towel for wiping up like the bigger stuff. So nothing special there. I already used some of it to clean off the label off of here. So as I do uh, some more, you'll see it. And then once again with the electrical tape, I had that to use on a controller. Um, so I believe that is it and I will uh, go on from here. First, we're gonna hit the, uh, I think we're gonna take care of this case. So I'm gonna hit it with the uh, isopropyl oil. You can see it's starting to break up here. Um, I also have a case here. I, it's a computer, like basically repair kit. There's not much you can see there, but um, all different stuff to, to use for wiring and things like that. And I, I usually tend to use that for anything that I need. Screwdrivers, all sorts of bits and stuff. So um, as we'll let this settle in a little bit and then move on to some of the other labels. Now, as I take this off, if I do it at the right angle, it looks like I can get most of it without it leaving the void pattern. Some of it I might still have to take off, but if I do this really slow, it looks like I'm not having a problem. I think half of it is the back of this uh, case too. So that worked out pretty good with just that, but there is a little bit of residue left over, so I'm just gonna clean it up with a little bit of the rubbing alcohol. 
break it up a little bit and use the uh, white to just clean it away real quick. I gotta be careful to not touch too much of the other labels that need to stay. Especially with the alcohol, you don't want it to get under any of the labels that you wanna keep. So we got that. So that one's good. Um, I will, I have the small, there's just a small screwdriver for these. It doesn't have anything special, but I will use that to open these up. So now we got our case open. Uh, this is gonna open up simple like that. And Here's the game itself. Usually you just try and be pretty careful. Clean out anything in the case itself. It's always crazy to me how like you have this huge cartridge, but then this little board that's in there. It's just so tiny. Interesting. Always, always fun to see that Sony's uh, interaction uh, with Nintendo is seen in the chipsets that they do. You can read that. It says Sony there. Um, I'm just going to take care of the, uh, the connectors, so I'm just going to clean these up real good, have a good access to them, and then hopefully uh, that will be it. Cleaning like so, back and forth, pretty good. You'll see it shine, it'll have a nice shine and everything. Uh, other things that work really well is like an eraser head for a pencil that will take off a lot of the uh, a lot of the um, stuff that's left over from the pins and stuff back and forth in and out a lot of times these get really dirty especially if you can find stuff that's from a garage sale or anything like that it's gonna be dirty so these look pretty good uh, pins wise I'll probably take this towel and we're gonna set the game back into the allowed space uh, a lot of times if you have a rattle in here it's good to uh, be able to take this apart and reset it because sometimes it, it a little piece breaks or moves and then the cartridge just goes back pivoting on the end and then down no rattle we'll get that back together Obviously, you don't want to over torque them, don't over tighten them. That should be it. No rattle. Everything's pretty good. So, RC Pro Am should be ready. Uh, there's not much dirt, and the label's in pretty good shape, so I can probably leave it just the way that it is so that one's done. Let's do the same thing with Kung Fu. We're going to remove the label and clean the pins. much smaller than the other one. This is different. It's kind of cool because it's a different chipset. Uh, it doesn't have like the Sony stuff in there and anything else so this obviously must have been later on. These ones actually weren't too dirty today. But there's your pins back and forth case on the inside looks pretty good so we don't have to clean that up. Alright, everything's screwed in. No rattle, that's always good. Label's good. 
I uh, cleaned up a little bit of the gunk that was on the case itself. So that game is done. And now we gotta take care of this sticker on this case. I left some of that sit for a while, so maybe it'd be pretty easy just to kind of peel it up, get most of the sticker off as it comes up. See that? So that's the main part. That's good. It's gone. Then we're gonna clean that up. So now we gotta get the grime and stuff. Some people like goo gone, other things like that. This alcohol seems to work uh, really well. I've used CLR on some things, especially if there was some corrosion and rust uh, on like pins and stuff, which I've seen. Um, so I've only, I use like a little bit, you don't want to just overdo things and put it all over the place and stuff, but we're going to get rid of this sticker stuff. And then also I can get rid of um, marks, pen marks and stuff, especially if it's not too bad, if I see anything. Must be a really old sticker because this grimy stuff is on here. It seems like it's been on here for a while. That's actually pretty good. There's still a little bit, might might need some other tender loving care, but as you can see, most of that is off. You might see a little bit of grime in there, but that's not too bad. So this one's ready for putting on another game and stuff. This one was already in good shape, so we're good with that. And um, I also, I got a game here that was uh, Ninja Game 2. Uh, it's actually a gift for a friend of mine, but I'm gonna clean it up. And uh, it's got somebody's name written on the back label. You can barely see it, but it's with pen. So I'm gonna try and get rid of it as best as I can. I'm trying to do this on top of the label, which is kind of hard. You want to make sure that you don't get your alcohol underneath the label, because that's where it'll start to dissolve the stuff underneath and then uh, pull it up. Someone who wrote their name in with pen here, the pen may come off, but the grooves that are in the stuff probably won't. So we're gonna try and some of this. Got a little on the sides, so clean it up. Okay, you can see some of the pens already coming off there. Try and get it as best we can with that. A lot of pen. But we can't get rid of the groove that the pen made writing into the sticker. So, cleaning up the best we can without, without messing it up. You can see a lot of the pen is on the Q-tip now. So most of that is off. You can still see the groove in the name. So it's very slight, but you can probably see it there. Uh, but most of it is gone, so that we can get rid of pen doing it that way as well. And then next we're gonna do we're gonna open up Echo because it's got a special uh, special uh, screw in there that you gotta have a special tool for it. and in which case I do have those uh, these are the tools that I have there's two different sizes uh, these ones I got uh, I bought them off of, like Amazon or whatever basically just look up uh, NES or Nintendo repair tool and uh, some of them are for the Genesis uh, have like one size and then so the smaller size, uh, there's for other things like uh, Super Nintendo games and stuff, and it has to be just like this because usually everything is like pretty deep, uh, especially on the systems like the GameCube and stuff. It's really deep on the. You have to have this shaft to stick it in, and then uh, and then these are sized like just perfectly. And they, these ones that I got, they work really well. So. Uh, uh, if you see these, especially like this color and stuff like that, this, these are the ones that are actually really good. So we're going to open up uh, Echo and make sure that everything is in order. Now they obviously are security screws for a reason, but we're way past all that time of that. We want to take care of this stuff. We want to clean this stuff up. So this is the first time I've opened a Sega game. 
and I'm noticing how much different it is as far as like with this particular game. It's like one chip, one little thing. Kind of interesting. We're gonna clean up these connections. So I grabbed a fresh uh, Q-tip because I didn't want uh, to get anything from the previous stuff that I was cleaning on here. We're just gonna clean them up. I know the game already works, but if we're already here doing this stuff and taking care of it and stuff like that, why not? Why not clean it up? Because it needs it. It's been many years since these games are around, so a lot of times they need the cleaning. Like I've had a few games that are really bad, really, really bad. They have lots of stuff on them. You get done cleaning everything up, pulling all that stuff out, and a Q-tip. The end of the Q-tip is just black, just black from all the dirt and grime and stuff. Somebody spilling soda on it or something stupid like that. So you can see some of the Q-tip is blackened just from me cleaning it there. So that gets rid of that stuff, you know. It looks like that's about it because these connections are pretty clean, not damaged or anything. So this slides right into the top with the holes and locks into place. So this, instead of side anchors and stuff like the Nintendo, they got these screw holes that hold it. I have a thing right on there. Uh, if there is, there'll probably be some noise because there is a little play in the holes. So. I think some of that noise goes away with this getting tightened down. I actually like to, when you're screwing stuff, and this is something that I learned at, at my job, because I do uh, industrial like dismantling and stuff. Um, when you go to tighten something in, especially something that's already threaded, you want to actually back up the screwdriver going in reverse at, until you hear the uh, screw click. And that means it, the thread has fallen into the same groove as what it was last time. Then start screwing it in. Because if you start to do it before that, you could cross thread it and then you'll have multiple threads in there and it gets real hard. Uh, you'll be tightening like too hard and stuff and then the more you do that and open them up and stuff like that you'll screw it up so so that was echo getting cleaned up and uh that's pretty much everything that's kind of the process that's the process that i go through cleaning everything every games and stuff um luckily with our controller uh we got to take this sticker off as well hopefully it's not too bad it might be a quick thing it might be a long thing we don't know just gotta be real careful. I usually pull from the corners on the sides. There's a slight technique about it. Looks like we're gonna lose a little bit of paper back on here, but if I pull from the opposite direction. Do have some residue left on there, so we gotta take care of that. And this controller, luckily, we don't have to because it works already and all the buttons work that I've touched and messed with or whatever, I'm not going to go extensive. I would open it up, clean up all the buttons and stuff, but the buttons, everything feels really good. But if I ever run into something where the buttons feel bad, you press them down, they stick, they get sticky, people get stuff on them or whatever, uh, then I usually go in, open up the controller, clean the contacts, the rubber, everything try and get rid of that stuff to make the buttons work correctly. And then we got that sticker off, so that's good. Perfectly good shape. Um, it's not too bad if I really wanted to, I can get in the cracks, clean everything or whatever. Everything seems pretty good, so. So that's all I got for you today. Just kind of fun to check that stuff out and uh, really appreciate you uh, taking a look at it. So that's all that I have for you today as far as the things that I had to clean and take care of. Um, I really appreciate you checking out this video. Um, it's just kind of like I wanted to include like some of the stuff that I uh, do as far as cleaning the games, taking care of everything. And uh, hopefully um, I'll get some more things in the future. Uh, I'm looking up, looking forward to hitting up some rummage sales, maybe find something here and there at Goodwill. Uh, I guess that's kind of like what's going to be the, the reoccurring theme, uh, especially going to Goodwill. You never know what you're going to find. Uh, so I was lucky enough to get the controller, but on, unfortunately that, that's pretty much all there was. 
um, and there was some random other stuff that they have in the case that they sell for hire, uh, but nothing nothing that really jumped out at me uh, that I that I wanted or anything like that. So um, so other than that, thank you again for watching. I uh, hope that you enjoyed the video, um, and I uh, hope I will see you next time uh, here in the game cave. So thank you again, and uh, have a good day.